the current refugees coming to the U.S. than people who were former refugees and are now they've settled here in the U.S. But of course, they know what that experience is like. Joe Walsh is back with us this morning. Joe, aside from Afghanistan this week, which, of course, has been a massive story, there were also big developments involving the investigation into the attack on the Capitol earlier this year in January. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy had made that threat to telecommunications companies, saying that if they complied with records requests from the committee doing the investigating, when Republicans are in the majority, he said they would not forget. Joe, we have now learned that he's among the lawmakers whose phone records the panel is requesting that these telecommunications companies preserve. Hey, Caitlin, he, he, McCarthy is nervous. Uh, Jim Jordan is nervous. These Republicans are nervous. No doubt about that. But I'm, I'm struck, again, the language McCarthy and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jordan and the rest of them used threatening these private companies. The government is going to come after you. Uh, man, this is not the Republican Party I, be I belonged to. This is Trump's party, right? Using the power of government to go after and punish private companies. But to your point, Caitlin, uh, they have no interest in wanting the public to know the truth about January 6th because they're part of that truth. And, and McCarthy knows that and he's nervous about it. And he should be. Is there any kind of statutory conflict of interest there that might keep Kevin McCarthy from taking action? You know, on the ethics committee, I don't know what it would be, but it seems there's a clear conflict of interest. Uh, John, there's a clear conflict of interest, uh, possibly something, you know, the ethics committee needs to look into. But again, John, he's going to do, McCarthy's going to do, and Jordan's going to do, all of them, Jim Banks and Marjorie Taylor Greene, they're all going to do what Trump uh, has told and, and, and shown them to do, and that's just stiff arm and fight everything, uh, because that's what their base wants. So they will resist every single effort to get to the bottom of what happened on January 6th. And again, Caitlin and John, you guys know that they're a big part of that story because they talked to Donald Trump multiple times that day. Joe Walsh, great to have you on this morning. Have a terrific holiday weekend. Thank you. You guys too. Thanks. New Day continues right now.